I am three plus key. Welcome back. Uh, today I went out and about into the community to begin to introduce you guys to some of the social services that are available. Today I went to City Foods Ministries. This is a food bank at 2811 Latimer Street. They're open Saturdays, 10 a.m. to noon. I'm going to read the pamphlet they gave me and then provide um, wording on what my experience was like when I went today. This is City Foods Ministries. We open the doors around 9.30 a.m. You will be handed a guest number and any required paperwork for first-time guests by our hosting team. Our hosting team will likely offer you a donut and can answer questions you have about our program. When your guest number is called the first time, you will meet with a City Foods volunteer. The volunteer will collect your intake form for first-time guests and review your family's cooking and nutritional needs and program guidelines with you. When your guest number is called the second time, you will pick fruit, dairy, and bakery items in the perishable room. Guests have access to the perishable room every week we are open. Finally, you will want to pick up your food box inside the large garage door. The food box contains canned goods, cereals, crackers, and meat. Guests will be provided a food box two Saturdays each month. Pretty cut and dry. So within my experience, I showed up. There was a lovely lady who handed me a clipboard. The information I provided was pretty standard. Name, address, I believe I was asked my income level. I did not have to provide ID, which I know is a barrier for some. So that was great. I waited about 15 minutes. Now, I did come at the end, so there were a lot of people there, but I waited about 15 minutes. My number was called. I went back to talk to um, a representative or a, a volunteer, and she just reviewed my paperwork, asked me questions regarding um, what kind of utilities I had to cook my food. I said, you know, I've got an oven and and the like. Um, the questionnaire also asked what type of transportation I had, be it a cart, a bicycle, or a motor vehicle. I answered those questions. She was very friendly. You know, I like to joke around, and she was with it. Um, so that was that. I went back to my seat maybe about 10 minutes after that initial intake, uh, my number was called again. I went into a room that had uh, fresh produce. Uh, I got some organic lettuce. Um, there were alfalfa sprouts, apples. I picked up a couple of potatoes. They had a, a, a pretty good-sized bread section. Uh, I do not eat a lot of bread, so I skipped over that. But there was a lady next to me... Um, that uh, had a a bunch of uh, bread bowls in her bag. And, you know, she was going to town with that. And she was telling her significant other, I'm going to make bread bowls for us for lunch. And I thought that was very lovely and considerate of her. Moving on to the sweets, there were cookies and cakes. Per usual, I stood there for a while debating what I wanted to take, and ultimately left it aside because um, I want to properly manage my caloric and carb intake. Uh, but it was there for the taking if I, I wanted, and there, and there was plenty. Moving on to a small refrigerated section, what I ended up selecting was a pineapple ginger hibiscus goat cheese, I wanted both of them, but I only took one of them. Um, mainly, uh, somebody else could probably use it more than me, right? Um, 
I left that room and inquired where to pick up the meat, which was what I was really there for because meat and cheese is expensive, as I'm sure you are aware of, right? Uh, but prior to going into that next room, I looked around a little bit. There is a small clothing closet with winter clothes. So if you need sweaters or uh, pants or something like that, they have that there. They have a small selection of shoes. They have a ton of hand sanitizer uh, and a few books uh, if you need to be entertained, right? Um and so by that time, it was pretty much empty since I came late. You know, there was nobody there. By the time I departed, I walked out the the entrance and turned to my right and walked, um, entered another door. It was uh, kind of warehouse setting, but there was seating. And I asked the fellow if I should tell him my name. And he said, usually I call it out, but tell me your name. I said, it's Lakeitha. And he found my box, which had already been prepared for me and sent me on my way, right? Uh, within that box, I just took a peek uh, in my kitchen. There was bacon, steak strips, and uh, chicken breast for the meat. I also had peanut butter. I tried to stay away from the sweets, but they snuck some birthday cake ice cream in. Currently in my freezer, soon to be in my mouth. Uh, there was uh, Pop-Tarts, Lunchables, which I love, and a bunch of other little items like that. So, all in all, it was a very pleasurable experience. It was uh, a very easy system to navigate one thing I look for when I'm going into food banks is, am I treated with dignity? That is very important. Um, as a social worker myself, right, you are naturally called to serve. We have to check ourselves sometimes because that can easily become pity instead of empathy and compassion, right? And from time to time, I utilize social services myself. Um, many times, I, I would say most of the time, I'm the one facilitating and coordinating social services for another, right? And it looks different. I came in in my Jordan jacket and my fly mitts and... You know, um, and my gear, <laughs> you know what I mean? But sometimes I work with clients that maybe um, don't look so put together. How how are they being treated? What is that experience like? Uh, however that experience presents can be an indication of whether or not they return. And retention for a business, any business, obviously is very important. Um, also, we, we do want to just, as humans and as Christians, we want to, and social workers for that matter, we want to consistently and always honor others' dignity and worth. Um, and I was satisfied in, in this experience. So once again, this is City Foods Ministries. Uh, I will leave the information in the description. They also, in my box, I had uh, two laminated cutouts. The first one here I will read. It says, there is hope for the helpless, rest for the weary, love for the brokenhearted. There is grace and forgiveness, mercy and healing. He will meet you wherever you are. Cry out to Jesus. Amen. And then the second is a handout of scriptures. And it says, here are scriptures to stand on to build your faith in difficult times. God's heart for you. Philippians 4.13, for I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Philippians 4.6-7, 
Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and mind as you live in Christ Jesus. And third, Isaiah 41.10. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. Once again, I want to thank City Foods Ministries. Um, I will continue to go about town and provide information as well as uh, my experiences with social service agencies throughout the town of Missoula. If you are interested in me visiting your facility or organization, or if you are up for an interview, please contact me at 3 plus key at gmail.com. I would love to come on by. Um, all right. Well, with that said, I am 3 plus key. Hit the subscribe button right now for more content. Like this video and share it if you love it. I'll talk to you guys later.